the win, but it seemed like it was costly with some injuries in the second half. What are your yeah, emotions? Well, we'll see. I mean, uh, the biggest thing is is obviously um, Khalil, you know, in the, in the middle of the third quarter, just couldn't go anymore. His shoulder got, his shoulder got sore, so um, we took him out. Chris Scott came in and finished up. And um, Luke is, you know, uh, he took a shot, so he's with the doctors right now. We'll see how everything is. I don't know if you saw it, but it was a pretty emotional scene with, with Luke on the on the court. Mm -hmm. Looked to be crying and very emotional. Just what what were your emotions as you saw that? Well, you know him. He wants to play, and you know, then and, and I guess getting hurt, you know, it's tough for him to take. So, um, you know, we'll see. I'll go and see how he's doing. Is there a fear because of last year that if it is a concussion, he could again miss? I'm not going to speculate on until I talk to the doctors. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Ron, the, the players that went out to the cart, the players who are on a knee on the sideline, was part of that because of what Luke means to the team? Or oh, the severity so, of the injury? I think they do that for any of their teammates if, if, if they think it's something like that. So I, I just, but you know, that's how they feel about one another. But, you know, Luke is a special one and they know that. Khalil's shoulder, is it the same shoulder injury that he already had? Yes, it, it got sore, like I said, and, and, you know, he just couldn't go anymore. So he took himself out and, uh, you know, the doctors looked at him and, you know, they got him iced up right now. It is, to repeat kind of what Bill's question, do you feel like, boy, it's great to win, but. Yeah, you, know, it, it, you do. I mean, you do. And, again, you're always concerned about your players, you know, and uh, that, that's the hard part. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, that's part of this game. Ron, obviously the guys came out with the win tonight, but did you feel like, again, there were quite a few points left? left oh, yeah, there? most certainly. Again, you know, we kicked three field goals. We had opportunities. The very first time we, we get down there and we make a couple of mistakes. You know, we get a, we get a poor alignment. And uh, give up, you know, give up a couple of uh, uh, sacks, and uh, give up a sack and, and a tackle for loss. And you can't have that. I mean, it, it's, it just you just can't do that. When the Saints were coming back, was there any oh, feeling of oh no, here we go again? No, there was a feeling of let's stop him. And I think that's probably the most important thing. I think Ta Charles Johnson said it best about stopping people. So that was uh, it was good to see Charles step up and, and talk like that. And, and it, you know, I think it helped the guys. With the way your offense is structured, how frustrating is it that? The running game hasn't really been able to give you what you normally have gotten. I mean, under well, 100 yards again tonight. It's tough, but I mean, again, you know, you also got to look at, you know, who, who, who's out there, who's doing the best they can, and that's the most important thing. Is those guys are trying very hard, and that's all that you know. That's all that matters, as far as I'm concerned. Those guys go out and compete and do the best they can, and you know, we'll make plays, and, and hopefully, we'll make enough to win football games. Were Charles's remarks during a timeout or a change of possession, Ron? Do you remember? Um, I think I was on the sideline. You know, just listening to him talk, and, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's great to have a guy like that step up. Your thoughts on that, that kind of 29, 23 second span at the end of the first half was pretty crazy with the play involving Vernon and Luke oh, and yeah. James's um, block. Well, you know, again, you know, um, it, it, was, it was one of those things. We, we got good surge. Vernon, you know, blocked it. Luke caught it and took off running. You know, we got, we got the ball, and, uh, and, uh, and Mike felt very strongly about being able to throw the nine route. So he went ahead and called it, and it was perfect, right where it needed to be thrown. When your well, backs you are against, like, uh, against the wall tonight, and, and Kelvin makes that, that big play in, in Cam in third and, third and 15, I mean, that's, that's kind of one of the reasons you have one of those tall receivers, huh? Yes, and then it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Um, again, it, it just shows the benefit of having those type of guys out on the football field. And you know, we've got a good group of young men, and, and um, we just got to keep it rolling. What was your reaction? Uh, watching James Bradbury kind of make that mistake, hit the punter five yards behind, or hit the kicker five yards behind? Um, quite honestly, I didn't see it. I really didn't. So, I mean, I was, you know, watching, uh, obviously watching the ball, so I didn't see that happen. Did you see the replay? No. All your injuries tonight, the major ones seem like they occurred in the second half. Do you factor in the short week at all in any of those? Oh, no, I'm not going to speculate on any of that stuff, Joe. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's the unfortunate part of the game. Pilar, thoughts on Polarity's first, first game? I did a nice job. I really do. You know, um, uh, probably the biggest unfortunate was he had a great kick, um, I mean, perfectly on the sideline, and unfortunately they called for a legal man downfield. But I thought he handled the situation, circumstances very nicely for us. You guys took away a lot of home run plays today. How'd you feel about your secondary tonight? I thought they did exactly what we hoped for them to do, you know, and that was keep it in front of us, you know, um, not give up anything big. I, I thought the safeties made some some plays. Um, obviously, going sideline to sideline. I mean, you can't ask for for, for guys to do a, a better job, and, and that's that was great. And watching the young corners compete, um, you know, it was it was it was it was pretty solid. 
How big was it for Mario Addison to set the tone early with that strip sack? It was. It was great. I mean, uh, that helped set the tempo. And, and you know, and, and Fortune Mario's one of the guys, too, we got to check on as well. And, and, and Leonard Johnson. So, you know, the nice thing is we've got 10 days until um, we got to do anything. So we'll, uh, we'll go from there. The past two weeks, do you feel like your offense has done a, an adequate job in responding to the, thing, the plays that the defense has made to give them the ball back? No, I, I think again, and, and somebody asked earlier. I said we get down the red zone, I want to see us score touchdowns. So I, 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 you know, I appreciate the points, but you know, if we can score touchdowns, that, that's that's much better, especially against teams like this, especially against players like Drew Brees and that explosive offense they have. Just overall, your thoughts of just getting this win tonight, knowing that pretty much from this point on, you need to win pretty much out if you won't have any chance of making postseason. Well, we got to win one at a time. That's the way I'm gonna look at it. Um, and, and and it was a big win for us. And uh, next week as we start getting ready, it's that's Oakland, and uh, that's the goal. Get you know, get out to Oakland and play our best and win a football game. All right, cool. Thanks, Thank you guys.